Oh, hello. I suppose you're wondering what I'm doing. I'm making a new version of the Bible. What's that? Oh, who am I? Oh, well, my name is Dr. Pants. Dr. Smart E. Pants. PhD, THD, THM, BA, MA, DD, and of course, MD. What I am doing here, you wouldn't understand because you're laity, but what I am doing is I am making another revision of the Bible. Why? Well, for the money. Isn't that obvious? <laughs> you say, well, why are you cutting things? Well, because there are many things that do not appear in the Greek that have made their way into this translation that I'm revising. You see, what I'm doing is, I am making a holy Bible. <laughs> you see, this will be much more accurate. At least, that's what we'll tell the people. And of course, there's a lot fewer words in here, so it will be easier to carry. But, I must get back to work. Let's see here. Oh yes, I'm in the book of Mark. I must check here with my Greek text. The Nestles, of course, is the best. I have a Receptus just for comparison. Oh, wait. No, well, these verses shouldn't be in here. Let me just remove them. There you go. More accurate. You wouldn't understand, though, because, you see, you're not like me. You're not a scholar, as I am. You wouldn't under understand shades and nuances of meaning in the Greek. Oh, I do love my job as a scholar. Of course, I must always check with my friends' new versions that they've created because of copyright laws. You know, we all have our... We are all in this thing together. We all need to make money, you see. So I have to check and see if it lines up with the Greek. And then over here, no, oh yes, this... This shouldn't be in there. So I will remove this as well. That's not part of the original. Yes, that's true. Have you seen my robe? I, I do love these robes. Long robes and... Greetings in the marketplaces and the good seats at the feasts. I do love those. Yes, that's true. Perhaps you're wondering, by the way, why I'm here in this King James only office. Well, because us Bible translators, us new version scholars, we do believe in being ecumenical. And I wanted part of my translation work to be done here in the office of a King James only advocate. And while I'm on that subject, before I continue with my translation work, let me just say, you must never be King James only, okay? Very bad idea. If you want to be a scholar someday like Dr. Smarty Pants, you cannot be King James only. The educated elite like myself will never respect you if you are King James only. And really, between you and me, we can't make money if you stick to one Bible. Okay, that's why I'm creating this new version. Just any of these new versions can sell into the millions of copies, which makes me millions of dollars. Oh, it's a wonderful work that I have going here. It's just excellent. I just love it. Okay? And make sure that when the Dr. Smarty Pants version comes out, make sure to buy as many copies as you can if you have a church, buy it by the case. I'll give you a discount of 1%. You know. But I need to get back to work here. Hey, what are you doing well, in here? I, I, I don't care what you say uh, you're doing. Get out of here. Oh, get out yes, of here. Uh, okay. you I'll leave. Here? I'll leave. Go on, get it. That's incredible. Oh, man, what a mess. You haven't heard the last of Dr. Smarty Pants. Whatever. Oh, boy. 
Well, a good thing, good thing this is a new version here. I'd be pretty mad if this was a King James Bible that he was cutting up here. Oh boy. How on earth did he get in here? I have no idea. Well, there you've seen that. You've seen what a scholar is all about. These new version of scholars. Boy, crazy thing there. Uh, of course, don't listen to what the guy was saying, you know. He's nuts. Stick with the King James Bible. Alright, don't fall for this new version stuff. Don't waste your money on these new versions. Oh boy, I got a lot of cleaning up to do.